As you build up the number of resources you offer, attributing the conversion to a specific touch point or multiple touch points can be challenging. Attribution models are a great solution. Attribution models are a set of rules that measure the impact of multiple marketing touch points to make sense of the entire journey from stranger to customer. Setting up an attribution model can be done with marketing software. Google and HubSpot, for example, both offer reporting options with attribution models that can be customized to fit the way your business works. Attribution models can answer a lot of questions you might have about your content marketing efforts. For example, attribution models can tell you how many leads first enter your website for your blog content, which marketing channels generate the most leads, or which promotional channels are most influential when turning a lead into a customer. Attribution models are directly connected to your goals and metrics for your content. And there are many attribution models out there that you can pick from. Here are a few of the most popular. First touch attribution is where 100% of the credit is assigned to the page that originally drove the visitor to your website. This model does overemphasize high level awareness stage marketing efforts, but it's an easy way to know what exactly is attracting people to your brand. Last touch attribution singles out the first touch point of the most recent visit. So if a visitor views a blog post, clicks the CTA, also known as a call to action, and converts on a landing page, the blog post will receive all the credit. The last interaction model, however, gives credit to the touch point where our conversion directly occurred. This is a useful model to determine the effectiveness of your landing pages, for example. A simple decay attribution model assigns a weighted percentage of the credit to the most recent touch points. I recommend using this model if your buying cycle is short because it assumes that the touch points closer to the purchase decision greatly influence the decision to purchase. In the linear attribution model, all touch points are given the same credit. There's no right or wrong answer to what type of report to run. It just depends on what you hope to distill from the data. If you want to understand how all the pages or channels viewed before a conversion affect conversion rates, you'll run one report. If you want to understand what happened at the exact point of conversion, you'll run a different report. You could even run a combination of reports to understand what happens in certain parts of your flywheel. Let's say you're interested in optimizing your content strategy for lead generation. You can use an attribution model to understand which types of content are best at converting visitors into leads. To do this, you'd want to use the last touch attribution model. Here's how you could run this report. Let's compare different methods for converting traffic. To do this, you optimize your blog post with two different methods for converting traffic. One way is by adding calls to action to download a related content offer that is gated by a form on a landing page. The other way is by adding a pop-up form directly onto the blog post so that traffic can convert on the offer without ever leaving the blog post. After running a last touch attribution model, you learn that blog posts optimized with a pop-up form convert twice as many leads as the CTA and landing page approach. From this, you can infer that optimizing all of your blog posts with a pop-up form will be more successful at generating leads than adding calls to action that direct you to a landing page. If you want to learn how to get started tracking marketing success with attribution reports in HubSpot, check out the resources below. Choosing the right attribution model for your business is entirely up to you and depends on the goals that you have and the questions that you want answered. So start exploring, test out a few models, and optimize your content strategy with what you learn.